Well, Colorado election officials are defending the state's mail-in voting system amid President Donald Trump's opposition to additional funding to the U.S. Postal Service. KRDO News Channel 13's Alexis Dominguez joins us live in the newsroom. Well, in the last Colorado election, 99% of votes were cast by mail-in ballots and drop-off ballots, according to our Secretary of State. It's the reason election officials here in Colorado say getting rid of it is not an option. During elections, Colorado sends a ballot through the mail to every registered voter. Voters can then mail it back or drop it off at a drop box. In our statewide primary on June 30th, we set a record turnout in the midst of a pandemic. Coloradans overwhelmingly use mail ballots. In fact, in that election, 99.3 of all ballots cast were done so at a drop box or through the mail. Senator Michael Bennett says the pandemic is making these methods of voting even more important. Now we're in the middle of a major public health crisis and the president is using it uh, not as an opportunity to unite the country, but as an opportunity to keep attacking our democracy. For months, central to that attack have been false claims about mail-in voting, something we've had in Colorado for years. Mail-in voting isn't a partisan issue here in Colorado. Last week, Senator Cory Gardner, who was elected the year mail-in voting was adopted, spoke to us about his thoughts. Colorado's done a great job with mail-in voting. I'm very pleased and proud of the way Colorado has worked over the last six years implementing its election system. We've protected our elections. They've been transparent. The same idea was echoed by Governor Jared Polis. You know, in Colorado, we have strong safeguards to prevent fraud. Every ballot contains a signature box, and every voter's signature is verified by a bipartisan team of election judges. So when you drop off your ballot, these state leaders want you to know they're doing what they can to ensure your choice is made clear. Now this year, ballots will be sent out to voters in October. State leaders believe Colorado can serve as a national model to successfully expand vote by mail. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Alexis Dominguez, Caradio News Channel 13. And just a